How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to make your Mac feel as good as new. And I'm going to do that by helping you clean up your Mac storage, improve the system performance and also boost its security. It's honestly awesome. I'm sure you guys are going to love it and it's going to give your Mac a whole new life. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. And in order to do that, we're going to use a software called Mac Repair. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with Mac Repair. This is a very popular tool that will help us do exactly that. Clean up our storage, improve our system performance, and boost the security. So as you guys can see on the first screen, we have the system scan, okay? And we can start the scan right now. But before we do that, I want to go through everything that Mac Repair can do. And of course, we can later come back to system scan and do it and actually see it in action, okay? So uh, as you guys can see, uh, it's separated in actually three big categories. So we have the cleanup tools, the performance tools and the protection tools. So then of course, those are gonna cover the three main things that Mac Repair can do. So first up, we have large and old items. And this is very, very cool because Mac Repair will help us find old, forgotten or large items and delete unneeded files to clear space. This is so, so common guys. We often download movies uh, or any kind of documents and data, sometimes huge files. Uh, we use them once or we just don't use them at all. We just forget about them, but they're there taking up a ton of our storage. And uh, with this, it'll easily find those files and show them to you so you can easily delete them. Very, very good and it's gonna do it automatically so you don't have to manually go through folder by folder to look at those big files, awesome. On top of that, we have the duplicates finder and I also really like this feature because it will help us find and remove duplicate files and find and remove duplicate folders. Again, this is something that is very common on the day-to-day -day use that sometimes we download the same files twice or we just have two folders uh, that have the same content within. So again, very common that we have duplicate files. It will help us find and delete them and also find and remove similar photos. Again, it's common that we take two, three, five, ten photos of the same day, of the same scenario, of that exact same thing, and they're just pretty much the same, and Mac Repair will not only identify those photos, but actually pick the one that is best. So use machine learning, artificial intelligence, just use its intelligence to actually select the, the the best photo you have of that moment and just delete the rest and just leave one which is the best so awesome uh we also have the smart uninstaller another cool feature here on mac repair because it will uninstall apps that occupy most space or apps that you just no longer need so it would delete apps you don't uh, use or need and also sort through apps that occupy most space so it pretty much give you a list of some apps that it thinks that you just don't need anymore just don't use or just take up a ton of space and can help you not only sort those apps but also delete them uninstall them and delete all of its files. So you're gonna delete it and get rid of all the uh, related files to that application as well. So sort and delete also cleaning up a ton of your storage. And last but not least in the cleanup tools, we have the system junk. And this is probably my favorite one because it will help you get rid of system cache and logs, remove unneeded installers and downloads, and also empty your trash bin. And again, um, in this, I, I mentioned that it's one of my favorite tools, probably my favorite in the cleanup section, because those system files, those system junk files, are very, very difficult to sort and delete manually because uh, they are very buried, very hidden in our systems, in a ton of folders, inside a folder, inside a folder. And with Mac Repair, it will know which files you can in fact delete, you should delete, and it will recommend you to delete because you have a ton of junk that gets accumulated over time. So those files you just can't access easily, manually. You'll need a software like this to just get rid of them. And I love that Mac Repair will do it very, very easily for us. Okay, so system junk files, getting rid of them, 
couldn't be easier, okay? So um, let's move on now. And now we have to talk about some performance tools. So we have the memory cleaner, which will pretty much manage your RAM memory. So it will optimize RAM to free up memory for important processes and also work with your favorite apps faster. So by pretty much optimizing your RAM, it will not only make um, your computer feel faster as a whole, because of course, uh, it's just gonna be more memory available, but also your favorite apps are gonna run faster because it's gonna have more available RAM to run faster. So to run faster. So awesome. So your important processes are gonna be safe because your RAM memory is going to be dedicated to that and your favorite apps as well run faster. So an awesome uh, memory manager. Okay. And also we have the login items, which is awesome for your performance as well, because it will help you identify apps that are set or can be set to launch upon Mac login, Mac login and let you disable unneeded once. So what this tool pretty much does is it gives you a list of the apps and software that you have installed on your Mac that can in fact launch every time you boot up your computer. So every time I turn on my computer, um, I have a list of the apps that can actually launch automatically with it. And this is great for two reasons because one, I can select the apps that I want to turn on to launch every time I turn on my Mac. So this can be helpful to me and the other way around as well, because I can select the apps that I don't want to launch every time I boot up my Mac, because this of course is gonna be bad for performance if I have a ton of apps launching every time I boot up my Mac. So I can select which apps I want or don't want to automatically launch every time I boot up my Mac. Here I just have two, which are both from Mac Repair. So of course I'm gonna leave them on because I want that. So those are items that will boot up every time I log in. And of course I also have launching agents, which are other type of files that again will launch every time you boot up your computer. At the moment I have no objects here. So I have no agents that will launch automatically, okay? So if I had, they would be here. Uh, it's, it's very common that we have plugins or Google stuff. Uh, I just don't have it on my computer because I don't have Google Chrome or any of that, okay? Uh, we also have now the enabled items. So then of course you can see which items are in fact uh, launching every time I boot up my computer. And we also have the disabled items. So we just separate each. Here is a list of what you have uh, available in here is just enabled versus disabled. I don't have any disabled items. Okay. So moving on, we have the final category here, which is for protection. So that's the security bit. Uh, so we have the system protection, which is awesome because it will kill potentially unwanted apps and also find unsupported files. So if you have downloaded uh, some kind of application that is unwanted, it just you just don't want it it's spam it's completely spam and it's gonna maybe do some harm to your computer mac repair will identify and kill those unwanted apps that you have downloaded um because you didn't know and also find unsupported files so it will help you identify files that are not supported uh by your computer okay on top of that we have internet security and i really like that uh, because it's gonna potentially unwanted website. So it's gonna give you a list of some websites that you have visited that are probably unwanted, that you shouldn't be visiting, uh, that Mac Repair just doesn't trust. So it's very nice to have a look at those and of course you can block them very easily. Uh, we have real-time protection, which when enabled, uh, real-time protection monitors online presence for potentially unwanted websites and potentially unwanted files being downloaded. So here is a list of what you have done and what you have visited and which you shouldn't and here is in real time so it actually so it will actually tell you okay don't go there now i mean you're you're accessing this website don't do it you're downloading this file don't do it so it will help you so so much with this and of course you can activate it it's disabled on my computer but you can activate it and it will activate automatically if it's the first time uh you're gonna need to type in your password okay uh and also we have network inspection so it'll just pretty much do this quick diagnostics of your network and kind of let you know if it's safe or not and actually give you the recommendation 
recommendations for this network. So it analyzes the network and it will tell you, for example, in my situation, I can read, read the news, I can uh, log into private accounts, I can use social media, I can save files. So this is a, a safe a secure network, uh, Wi-Fi network that I have. So I can, in fact, do pretty much whatever I want. It is safe, it is green, so you can do whatever you want with it, okay? And uh, last but not least, we have the anti-theft. And this is a feature that is still to come, okay? So it's still in development, um, but it will pretty much accurately locate your stolen Mac, uh, see who is using your Mac on webcam, this is cool, and also see what happens uh, on your Mac. So it will pretty much just avoid your data from being caught by thieves or hackers or something like that. So it just protect your Mac against uh, some kind of bad use. Okay, so it just pretty much help you with this. So this is pretty much helping you uh, with what websites you're going, what files you're downloading and things like that. And this is for security your data. But again, this is a feature in development. Maybe when you're watching this video, this feature will already be implemented, okay? So, uh, yeah. Now, uh, I believe you could understand very easily that uh, here are, is everything that Mac Repair can do. So, separated by categories and everything like that. And if you want to, you can just uh, do one action, use one tool individually. For example, I just want to find the duplicate files. So I go ahead and start scan. So it's just going to scan for those duplicate files. Or I just want to check uh, this memory cleaner. I just want to clean my memory, my RAM memory very fast. I can do that as well by tapping on, on start scan. But uh, the coolest feature on Mac Repair is the fact that it can do all of that. It can do all of those things with the press of a button. So on the first screen at system scan, you can just tap here and it'll automatically do all of those things in one. So I just love this. So again, you have the possibility of doing it separately or do it all in just one click. So let's go ahead and do it. So I just started the scan. And as you guys can do, you can see it's gonna do all those things. So junk files, uh, system cache, user logs. So it's gonna do first, uh, uh, of course, the, the cleanup part. Now is already in protection. And then it's gonna do all the rest. So then as you guys can see, it's doing everything. Uh, all of those categories right here, it's gonna be doing. So uh, it's gonna do the cleanup part, performance, and then protection, and then again, uh, other uh, features regarding uh, our uh, cleanup. It's gonna do everything like that. So very, very cool. And if you want to, you can just check uh, for details. So you can tap here on details, and then you can see all the details and everything it did. So it gives you full reports on all of those uh, categories separately. So your RAM, you can tap here, you can see in detail how much you're using of your RAM and everything like that. So you can do all of it in detail uh, very, very easily. So we get again, a full report. Uh, and then you see that scan found 10 files and 189.4 megabytes of junk. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, it's actually very little, but that's because this computer is pretty much brand new and also I'm constantly resetting, formatting and wiping the drive constantly because of my videos. So uh, I'm constantly formatting this computer, um, updating to new software, updating to beta versions. So that's why this Mac is pretty empty, it's pretty stock. I don't have a ton of files here uh, and that's why the scan is so was so quick on mine. It just took a few seconds but depending on your computer, it can take minutes because it's gonna analyze the whole computer and depending on your computer, I'm sure uh, you're gonna have one, two, ten gigs of junk. Again, it's because my computer is new and it's always pretty much stock with nothing installed on it, all right? And then you can just start repair. And then, of course, it's gonna ask you for your password. And then, as you guys can see, system cleanup complete. So we cleared five items and freed up um, those megabytes that we just saw before. So you can go to main menu. And uh, you can see that now my trash is a little bit uh, full because of those files. So I can just go ahead and empty the trash and then empty it. So then I'm gonna actually delete the files that I have just um, 
removed with Mac Repair. So if you're liking this review so far, and if you want to download Mac Repair right now, you can go ahead and click on the first link in the description. It's going to be right at the top of the description. Click there and you can download Mac Repair right now and do all of that that I just showed you and more because there's still one more feature to come and this is one of my favorite features actually and it's going to be this little icon right here this little guy at the right right at the top right at the sidebar which is actually kind of a widget and if you tap on it it's a mac repair widget uh, so here you can already see the energy so you can see that i just have 39 minutes left and again this is regarding my battery okay um so that's 11 percent of my battery life that i still have my computer is about to die in a few minutes um and as you guys can see we have two features here called power saving and extreme saving and those features are cannot be found on your mac normally in mac os you cannot enable a power saving feature just like you have on your iphone for example you can't do it on your mac but with mac repair you can and those features are pretty much automatic and just by pressing one button we can activate a ton of stuff that will actually give us a lot more battery life so as you guys can see with power saving uh it's gonna give you it's gonna give me up to 50 minutes more of battery life so i have 42 i can go up to like uh, almost two hours and then with extreme saving i can add up to one hour and 23 of battery life so i can go over two hours just with those just with pressing a button and if i tap here on the question mark it'll tell me what it'll do so like turn off wi-fi significantly uh limit the cpu use so throttle the cpu a little bit and of course with extreme much much more like turning off airdrop and monochrome mode and everything like that so i can just tap here and it'll enable that power saving feature and it will give me uh, that extra juice okay so awesome on top of that we have the ram load so we can easily see how much ram i'm using so at a, at a press of a button i can see how much ram i'm using and i can of course clean it uh which is just a shortcut to the feature here inside mac repair or i can do a deep clean again those are just shortcuts and same thing with the trash i can easily see uh how much how many how much how many gigabytes or megabytes i have here on my trash as i just cleared it i have nothing and again i can clear the trash or find some junk which again is a shortcut to the application itself so again scan with mac repair full system checkup so that's pretty much it guys this is a full review of mac repair you guys can definitely see how mac repair can help you uh, cleaning up your storage improving your system performance and also boosting your security very easily with a press of a button uh, but of course you can do everything manually here from the sidebar and obviously check out the widget which is awesome i constantly i'm really constantly taking a look at the widget and it's constantly giving me notifications and information and letting me know if my system is secure if i'm accessing secure websites it's going to be doing all of that via this little widget which i just love okay so that's pretty much it again don't forget to click on the first link in the description to download mac repair right now and take advantage of those awesome features i'm sure you guys are gonna love okay so that's pretty much it and i'll see you guys in a few days as always bye bye